Hello and welcome back to My Kids Fly Tech. Today I will show you how to build this lower rear part for your Boeing sidewall. I started with a rough template and cut it until it met the shape of the opening. Then I transferred it to a 3mm HDF board. To mark the cutout in this panel here correctly, I've made a paper template. You can find this as a download on my website. And I will place it with uh, this upper edge here parallel to this edge and the top left corner of the template in a straight line to this screw here. I think Something like this. All inside parts were cut from 10mm MDF. These two triangles determine the shape of the box. I attach two stripes of wood to give more hold for the triangles and to stabilize the whole board. Depending on the resulting shape, I cut two pieces to close the box. I haven't designed a special template for this, so it was trying and reshaping. These parts don't need to be too accurate. You may see there are big gaps in my construction and don't waste too much time to avoid them. We'll fill them all later in the construction process. I will put the measurements of the template I used on my website, but don't think you can use this template, cut your foam and it will fit immediately. It's a process of cutting, testing, cutting and testing and always keep these angles in mind when you're cutting the edges. Always double check your cuts. The 
surface of the foam that covers this uh, window frame here uh, has to be in the same plane as the surface of the chart holder. If I would place the foam directly onto this frame, it would um, be in a different angle than the chart holder. But it has to be in an angle like this here. To achieve this, I made an angled strip of foam and I will place it on the frame here. And so I can make a straight cut to my foam and it will lay flat on the stripe and it will match the angle of the chart holder. I made a cutout into the foam to fit over the window frame. and mark the position of a groove where the HDF board can fit in. Some points of epoxy and a lot of construction glue will connect the board to the foam. I cut some small shims to support the angle between the foam and the board. The front and back side were trimmed to shape. After that, I took all the measurements to cut the foam that surrounds the back frame. and filled the inside edge with another little foam piece. During the build process I tested different types of fillers. You have to close small gaps or little cracks in the wood but there is also the need of modeling smooth surroundings on inside and outside edges. I couldn't find a filler that could do all the jobs. There are fine fillers for very thin coats and others for big gaps. They all need long drying time and I think especially the two component fillers are not very healthy. I searched for another product I can use for building. And I've read that some cockpit builders used acrylic one. It's a two component material consisting of a mineral powder and a water based resin. It is environmentally friendly, non toxic, and all your tools can be cleaned just with water. You can work with it up to 25 minutes, and after an hour, you can already start to sand it. I've bought this test kit here and used it during my last working steps and was very satisfied with the results I got. So I wrote to Active Composite Technologies if they could send me some of their products to test and show them to you. And they said OK and sent me a big package of Acrylic One and the most important editors. So I want to show you now a selection of products I used during my work or I could recommend to you for your own projects. To make a basic mixture, 
you need two parts of the acrylic wand powder and one part of the liquid. This mixture can be applied with a brush, a roller or even sprayed. You can add a little amount of thixotropes to make it more like gel or a light filler. If you need an even stronger filler, you can add the ATP powder instead. This results in a very sticky material with a shortened open time. You can increase this time by adding a little bit of retarder or even shorten it with an accelerator. You can make your building stronger by laminating a triaxial fiber or a veil into it. As you can see, there are many options for you to work with it. And for me, I can say this can be my all around working filler. So let's use it for the cockpit windows. I want to apply some thin coats of acrylic one onto the sidewall and I think the triaxial fiber is a little bit too rough for this and so I've bought this fine glass clothes here and I will prepare the pieces now that I want to laminate onto this so I will save time later when I'm working with the mixture. I made a basic mixture of powder and liquid. You apply a first layer of acrylic one, place the cloth into it and immediately paint the second layer over it. After a first sanding, I flattened the surface with a coat of mixture reinforced by the ATP powder. By adding a little bit of Sixotrope B, I came out with a mess that could be used as a light filler. After the next sanding session, I applied the next coat with the roller. I drilled and countersunk holes for some dummy screws. There is a cable connection at the bottom of this wall and I built a small box to install this later into it. After a coat of primer, I closed the last cracks that were visible.
replacing the dummy screws and applying several coats of paint. The board is held in place just by clamping an angle iron against it. And here it is on its final place. I haven't fixed it until now just to be able to remove it if necessary during the next construction steps for the window frame. I want to say thank you to Active Composite Technologies for sponsoring this video. And if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe to it to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.